welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be reviewing this palette from Milani. So this is the all-inclusive eye, cheek and face palette. So this palette actually has already been launched last year, I believe, in many countries. But for my country, it's only this year and recently that I saw it in stores. And so when I saw it in stores, I was so excited, I quickly grabbed this shadow here. So this is how the palette looks like. So it actually looks like the Charlotte Tilbury's palette. So this is very gorgeous. And I'm happy to own this palette because Charlotte Tilbury's palette is really too expensive to bring out. And I'll be very heartbroken if I break one of the shades. However, this palette over here is of a drugstore pricing. So it's really much more affordable. The only thing that I was not very happy with is when I visit this palette, this is a very flimsy protective cover that you have. And for my store, my local drugstore, somehow they scotched it, this entire thing together, this entire palette with transparent tape. And, and when I rip off that tape to get my shadows, I accidentally hit this part. And this part broke off and I was really a little bit upset and heartbroken so I just went in ahead and tried to repress it in the best I could so now it looks like this but I'm happy that I'm able to repress it in a little bit but nevertheless this is still usable it's still very nice so now let's quickly get in ahead with the swatches of all these colours. So first up, we have these four face palette shades. So this is the highlighter for the face, the bronzer, and then this is the shimmery blush. I really think this colour is so gorgeous. You can easily use this colour as the eyeshadow shade also. You don't need to limit this as a blush shade. So this is very gorgeous with some shimmery particles. And then this is the blush shade. This one is the matte blush. And this is a very nice corally color as well. And now I'm going to show you the three eyeshadow shades. So these three are the eyeshadow shades. Just look at how beautiful this shade especially is. So this shade over here is this shimmery shade over here. It's just so pretty. So this one is the corally shade for the crease. So this is the shimmer. And this is the darker shade for the outer corner of your lips. Now let's quickly get in ahead with how I get this eye look and face look today. So I've already gotten this side of my eyes done. So now I'm going to show you how I get the look. This is a very subtle eye look. So first step. I actually took this color, this corally matte shade as the crease color. So this is a very nice crease shade to put on your lids. And then next up, I will darken the outer corner of my eye with this matte brown over here. So this is a very nice cool tone kind of brown and then I'm going to also bring this color to the outer corner of my lower lash line to give it some dimension I'm going to add this shimmer color over here. So this is a very nice shimmer color. This shimmer actually has a little bit of gold flakes on it, as you can see. And it's more of a pinkish tone, pinkish orangey tone. So I will apply this with a sponge tip applicator because I find that this kind of shimmer applies best with a sponge applicator. The sponge applicator can pick up more of this pigmentation 
and it translates better on the lids. So I'm going to just apply this at the center part of my lid. So you can see some shimmers down here. I'm going to bring this more to the inner corner. And I'm going to bring this color to the center part of my lower lash line as well. Let me add a little bit more. And then next, I'm going to use the highlight shade and put it at the inner corner of my eye. So you can see there's a highlight shade over here. This champagne kind of color. This is really gorgeous. So I'm going to bring this to the inner corner of my lower lash line. So this eye look is now more or less completed. Let me quickly add on some liner and mascara and I will be back with the face look. So this is the look after some liner and mascara. I really love how the coverly shades of these shadows complements my skin tone. So now I'm going to quickly add on the bronzer. So this is the bronzer shade. I feel it looks a little bit like the Huda Beauty's um, Hula Bronzer. The color is almost the same as that. So I'm just going to quickly put a little bronzer on my face. And then on the forehead. I'm not really a bronzer person, so I'm just going to put a little bit of this on to help contour my face a little. And then next, we have two blush here. So we have this more shimmery kind of blush. This is really gorgeous. And then we also have a darker pink kind of blush so let me just put on the darker pink blush first on one side of the face and then I will show you the other blush so this is the color using the darker blush so this is more of a corally Blush, and I really think this complements the eyeshadows. So, this is a very nice blush if you want it to complement your eyeshadow for this palette. And then, next, I'm going to go into this lighter blush, blush shade, this more shimmery one. So I would say this blush is more subtle. I'm not sure if you can really see, but it's more subtle, more like a blush topper. So it brings more of a shimmer to your cheeks, more of a shimmery blush. So if you don't really like shimmer for your face products, you may like to use the other color instead, but this is really gorgeous. And finally, I'm going to go into the highlight shade. This highlighter is really gorgeous. This champagne color highlighter. So let me just quickly add this highlighter. So this highlighter gives you some glow to your cheeks. And some natural glow. 
like you have flawless skin kind of glow so i really love this shade so this is my final face look so i'm just going to quickly pop on a lipstick and i will be right back so for lipstick i'll be using this charlotte tilbury's dance floor princess lipstick this is a nude color kind of lipstick it's very flattering on my lips so let me just quickly put this on So just look at how nice this lipstick is. So it brings a little bit of color to my lips. A nice rosy kind of pink. So this is my completed look. So I will say I'm really quite satisfied with this Milani's face palette. I'm really happy that I bought it. What do you guys think? Do let me know down in the comments below. Do like and subscribe and I will see you guys again in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye guys!